the molecular mass is, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's the mass of a molecule. Technical definition for this, it's going to be the sum of the masses of all the atoms in a molecule And um, we also use the term molecular mass to refer to the sum of the masses of all the atoms in ionic compounds, not just in molecules. So we'll expand this definition. The sum of the masses of all the atoms in molecules or compounds. If we're talking about the mass of a compound, an ionic compound, not a molecule, we should technically be referring to it as a formula mass. So sometimes you'll see the term formula mass instead of molecular mass. They mean the same thing. Also, sometimes we refer to this as the molar mass instead of molecular mass. Again, it means the same thing. And also, sometimes instead of saying mass, we say weight. So there's a lot of different ways that you could hear molecular mass. Maybe you hear molecular weight. Maybe somebody says formula weight. Maybe somebody says formula mass or molar mass or molar weight. You get the idea. They all mean the same thing, no matter what we're saying. Add up the masses of all of the atoms in that particular molecule or compound. We're gonna practice with two examples, um, sodium hydroxide and aluminum sulfate. So this is really as simple as identifying all of the atoms that are present in the compound. So sodium hydroxide has three different types of atoms. It has sodium, oxygen, and hydrogen. Identifying the amount of each atom. So we have one sodium, one oxygen, and one hydrogen. So I'm gonna write that over here. We have one of each and multiplying that quantity by each atom's mass, which we get from the periodic table. So I'm gonna slide over to the periodic table and we're gonna look for these atoms. Sodium is right here. And the number that we're looking for is the AMU or the atomic weight or atomic mass. So sodium is 22.99, oxygen over here, 15.999, and hydrogen, 1.008. Now, if you're just doing this for yourself, for me personally, it's just a lot faster for me to round those masses. So 23 for sodium, 16 for oxygen, and one for hydrogen. Rather than carrying all those decimals over from the periodic table, for this particular example, I'm just gonna round those, those weights. Let's make some notes here about what each of these numbers represents. This represents the quantity of each atom that we have in NaOH, and this represents the atomic mass that we got from the periodic table. So we just simply do the math on all of this, 23, 16, and 1, and, this, and, and add all of these up together, and we end up with a total molecular mass of 40. What are the units on this? Well, when we were talking about atomic weights or atomic masses, so these numbers right here, several videos ago, we learned that there's a couple of units that can be used. So these can be expressed as AMUs, atomic mass unit, which means over here, this could also be atomic mass unit. We also learned that these numbers represent the uh, weight of one mole of that substance in grams. So these are also in units of grams per mole, which means that this sum could also be grams per mole. And either one of those units is acceptable. So the molecular mass of sodium hydroxide is 40 AMUs or 40 grams per mole. Let's try again with just one more example. So first we want to identify all the different types of atoms. We have aluminum, we have sulfur, and we have oxygen. We also want to identify the quantity of each. So from this subscript, we know that we have two aluminums. Um, we have the SO4 sulfate polyatomic ion, and we have three total of the SO4 units. Every SO4 unit has one sulfur, and we have three units, so that means we have a total of three sulfur atoms. 
And then every um, sulfate unit, SO4 unit, has four oxygen. We have a total of three units, so we have four times three, we have 12 total oxygen. Um, for this particular example, I'll be a little bit more detailed, a little bit more specific when I'm getting my numbers off the periodic table, just so you can see an example of each. So when we go to the periodic table, we're going to be looking for pretty specific masses. I know that oxygen off the top of my head, I know that that's 15.999. Let's go find aluminum and sulfur on the periodic table. Um, they're pretty close together. So aluminum is 26,982. And sulfur is 32,066. Let's see if I can copy those without screwing it up. 26,982, 32,066. It is possible that I cop that I remembered these numbers incorrectly. And if I did, don't just ignore that. So now we are going to work the math out on these multiplications. I've got a calculator here that we're going to use. And then we'll add up all together what the weight is. So we're going to start just by simply working out each one of these three. We have 2 times 26.982. And that is 53.964. We have 3 times 32.066. 96.198. And then 12 times 15.999 is 191.988. And then we add all of these up together. So we're going to add these three together. 96.198 and 53.964. And we get a total of 300, oops, 342. 0.15, and your units are going to be either AMU or grams per mole, depending on how you are going to about, go about using the number. So again, both of those units are equivalent, and you'll just choose the appropriate unit based on the type of problem that you're solving.